now we go for digital frequency meter how digital voltmeters works there are three types or four types we discussed previously now we go for digital frequency meter a digital frequency meter directly displays the what is the frequency what is the principle of digital frequency meter what is the block diagram how it works let us see in this session digital frequency meter the basic principle is whose frequency is to be measured it is converted into train of pulses similarly what we discussed previously the ramp type dvm if you assume that ramp type dvm the ramp when it touches to ramp wave a series of pulses will be generated similarly whatever be the frequency we given to the digital frequency meter the series of pulses will be generated for each cycle then the number of pulses will be counted in different time different time how many pulses are generated it is the frequency of unknown signal the digital frequency meter whose frequency is to be measured is converted into train of pulses that, that is the basic thing whose frequency is to be con converted into train of pulses one pulse for each cycle of signal for each cycle suppose the signal is like this what is the frequencies for a for each cycle where pulse will be generated for each cycle it is a complete cycle one pulse for each cycle of signal then number of pulses operating in a definite time interval is counted by means of electronic counter then it is known as digital frequency meter the pulse re represents the cycle of unknown signal the number of pulses counted by counter is the frequency of unknown signal since the counters are extremely fast the high frequency of signal may be easily found the basic block diagram of basic circuit of digital frequency meter is whatever be the unknown frequency that is given to amplifier it will amplify according to the meter whatever be the signal we given again a schema trigger output is square wave that is start and stop gate it is connected after that counter the signal the signal which is applied to schema trigger before it is amplified to by using amplifier schema trigger output waveform is square wave a schema trigger converts sine wave into square wave with very fast rise and fall times what is rise time fall time schema trigger if it is a rise time it is a fall time of a square wave then the difference and the differentiated and clipped it is as a result of output of schema trigger is train of pulses one pulse for each cycle of the signal the schema trigger produces the output as a square wave the schema trigger is train of pulses one pulse equal to one cycle of the signal the output of pulses from schema trigger are fed to start and stop gate and this opens the start and input pulses passes through the gate input pulses will be passed to the grid after that counter counts what is the frequency that will be displayed by display or readout that is the main principle of digital frequency meter we are using a schema trigger on amplifier whatever be the signal we want to measure the frequency by using digital frequency meter it fed to amplifier suppose if you consider a meter if it is a digital frequency meter the knobs are connected to unknown signal these knobs are connected to an amplifier whatever be the signal according to the meter ranges it will amplify the signal after that it fed to schema trigger of the schema trigger output produces a square wave whose rise and fall time depends on the signal what we given the differentiated and clipped it will be after that as a result of output of schema trigger is train of pulses one pulse for each cycle of the signal the output pulses from schema trigger are fed to start and stop gate and this type of gate opens the input pulses passed through gate the start and stop gate will when schema trigger turns on the start gate will be stop started after that when the end end of the pulses again it will be stop after that counter will be reads to read the counter number of pulses generated that is that is there is a start and stop gate is required and the pulses are number of counters are given to one counter number of pulses are given to one counter which starts registering the input values when gate is closed stop the input pulse is stopped and counter stops counting let if you assume frequency of the signal f is the frequency of unknown signal n is the number of count displayed by the counter t is the time interval between start and stop gate what is the time interval that is the t the frequency of unknown signal is given by n by t 
number of counts divided by time period circuit for example a, a circuit for measuring the frequency is the complete circuit of measuring frequency is as shown in this figure unknown voltage amplifier schema trigger and main gate start and stop gate two counter it is a pulse from time based selector time based selector is according to our signal time based selector we can select the time period how, how much time we require to count the pulses in uh, in a certain time how many pulses are counted that is based on frequency meter the time based selector is we can select the time in what time how many pulses we have to count based on the number of pulses passed to the counter after that it will be counted that is the frequency meter simply whatever be the signal that is converted into number of pulses by using schema trigger and we are giving a time of pulses a series of pulses given to counter by using start and stop gate okay 